So there's a mess of wires in here and basically what you want to get to is what's coming out of the wall here. And so this is my hot, my neutral, and ground. So for the six wall packs that we will be doing the LED conversion, existing is a 100 watt metal halide lamp and that's what a 100 watt metal halide lamp looks like. They have a ballast uh, that goes in each one of those fixtures. We will be converting it over to line voltage. And this is the lamp I'll be putting in. This is an 18 watt, we call them corn cobs in the industry because it looks like a corn cob. Um, 18 watt corn cob conversion. This is line voltage, anywhere from 120 to 77 is fine. Um, our fixture is 120. Today I am going to be replacing HID lamps on my, on um, oh, probably about a dozen or so fixtures, exterior fixtures at my church. HID stands for high intensity discharge, uh, means metal halides, it means mercury vapor, it means high pressure sodium, all those would qualify as HID lamps. So at my church, most of them happen to be 100 watt metal halides. You have to be careful. You want to know the voltage of the fixtures that you're, you're messing with. So you need to test them. I'll show you that in a second here. But you need to know the voltage. If you go trying to put a lamp that is only rated for 120 volts and you're actually uh, dealing with 277, but it's not going to work and you'll probably just burn up the lamp and and that'll be that so don't waste your money check your voltage i'm going to save my church a ton of money by doing led conversions on a number of our exterior fixtures so uh the well, i'm only concentrating on one particular building our parish center and existing we have six wall packs each one with a uh, hundred watt metal halide lamps in them. So hundred watt, um, you can go a lot higher, obviously, and especially on wall packs, um, you know, up to typically uh, 250 to 400 watt metal halides on, on your wall packs. Ours happen to be 100 watt wall packs. So I'm gonna be doing a replacement with an LED um, we call these corn cobs in the industry. I'm going to be doing a replacement with an 18 watt LED um, bypass. So what you do, metal halides work off of a ballast. So we are going to be bypassing the ballast and going to line voltage and going directly to our LED lamp. So for each one of our wall packs, we're going to be going from 100 watts down to 18 watts huge reduction in wattage. Um, there are three decorative fixtures on the back, which I'm gonna go with this lamp here. Um, so we're gonna be going with an 11 watt A19 in replacement of 100 watt metal halide. It's decorative, um, kind of like a, it really doesn't produce much light other than a decorative fixture on the side of the building. I'll, I'll show pictures of that. So really I don't need a hundred watt metal halide 11 watt LED a 19 is going to be more than sufficient and then I have one other area on the porch area uh, we have um, these are called PL lamps or CFL plug-in lamps um, existing is a 26 watt and we're going to be going down to uh, eight nine watt so how much money are we saving? I haven't added up. Let's, let's do the math and see what we're looking at. The other huge benefit to going LED is most of these lamps are rated for 50,000 hours. Um, that's a lot of hours. That's years and years uh, without having to touch it, hopefully. So uh, we do have failures. Um, it happens all the time, but um, for the most part, the newer generations of LEDs are lasting a whole lot longer. Uh, the first 
earlier generations of LED lamps were not great. LEDs have come a long way in the last few years. So if you're basing your decisions on your experience that you had five, six years ago with LEDs, it's totally changed. So make sure you get a, a lamp or a fixture that is more recent, um, a newer generation. So it, it'll pay for itself. So first thing you do obviously is Open it up, and usually you'll see here what the wattage is. Um, this is all kind of burnt up and corroded, so you really can't see. So I'm going to take it apart here. And you can see it gets so hot in there that the labels are just all burnt up. So there's a mess of wires in here, and basically what you want to get to is what's coming out of the wall here. So I've got uh, red, white, and green. So this is my hot, my neutral, and ground. So that's simple. Um, and basically just get rid of all this mess. Let's disconnect the power. I know it's off, but let's disconnect the power anyways first. I could remove the ballast don't really need to. Um, the only thing that I want to say is the socket. That's what a bypass means. I'm bypassing the ballast. Okay, so you leave your ground. Black is going to go to my hot or the red. White to my neutral direct from the socket. Okay, so I've made my connections, I'm grounded. Again, if you wanted to save it, you can pull out the ballast here. Um, sometimes you can get a few bucks for that if there's a lot of copper in it. I'm not worried about that, I'm gonna leave it. I made my connections, there's nothing pinched or anything here, that's where the screw connector goes, so I'm not gonna be pinching any wires there. Okay. Put my cover back on. All right, so now we're going to, I already made sure that this fits. Could fit a larger lamp in here, no problem, but this is gonna work just fine. Great savings. Okay, all set. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good. Working on the weekend, are you? Oh, this is play, this isn't work. Doing a video of it as well? <laughs> What's that? Doing a video of yourself? Absolutely. So basically, it's the same procedure for all HID lights, uh, doing a ballast bypass and going line voltage to the socket. And here I'm doing the, the three more decorative fixtures. Hardest part about it was really getting the, the cover off. It took the longest time, but the wiring is, is all identical. So uh, check your voltage and make sure your lamps correspond with that voltage. Okay, so there's a mess of wires in there. Don't be intimidated by that because uh, really that's all we're gonna find is your hot, your neutral, and the ground coming out of the wall. And then that's gonna connect to your socket. And that's, that's it. So the last two went um, quite a bit more quickly and we reduce the wattage from 70 down to nine watts so a huge savings if those are running all night long and just look at it it's really um you know it's not providing a whole lot of light down on the ground area uh, it's more decorative so you really don't need that higher wattage so next I moved on to the pendant lights on the porch and these were not as high wattage but still a significant savings going from fluorescent to LED. So the total job 
really only took a few hours and it was not that expensive so it's so worth it to save $700 a year if you like what you saw if I gave you some information please give me a thumbs up it really helps out a lot subscribe to my channel I'll do some more videos on lighting uh, I've got a few good ones coming up so go get out there give it a shot and uh, as long as you're competent with electric and you have a master electrician watching over you thanks for watching to the very end see you next time